Mario! Please do not cancel your server with this video game. Yay, it's no video game. Hmm. Alright. Time to buckle in and go back to Tiny Huge Island and get a tiny, huge, huge conniption as we're doing that. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I'll get a key if they know about me. <laughs> Good one. You know who's gonna get keys? Every VTuber out the wazoo. Not me. VTubers could stream Spell Bubble and not get content claims from Iosis. Not me, though. Not me. <clears throat> it's the magic of the world we live in. Society, bottom text. It's this way. Alright, two lives down. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Sure. I don't even care. I don't care. We're here now. We might as well try it, right? <laughs> uh, chat. I forgot how to use my words. Hmm. No, okay. Uh, so, I woke up today, and <clears throat> when I woke up... Is this going to take me to Tall Tall Mountain? And it's... When I woke up today, I just so happened to see a video on my feed. And it was about uh, getting used to your tablet. And I was like, okay, I'll check this out. And... Whoa, whoops, forgot. I might be able to grab that. Alright, no talk box for me. Fine. And it's honestly, like, pretty spot on. Why is there a coin down here? There we go. It's pretty spot on, and it, it really addressed a lot of issues I've had. I don't really understand my own tablet, or Mario. And, like, trying to move on a tablet while also, like, trying to learn art is kind of a hard thing to do. So, they recommended a few things I could try to do to make, like, the feeling of using the tablet more natural. And one of the things they recommended... Where's the mountain? Okay, it's still there. One of the things they recommended was just trying to use my tablet as basically my mouse. So, I'm gonna try doing that. But, another thing they recommended is playing Osu. Because that requires the mouse and knowing your screen and all that good shit. So, now I need to figure out how to set up Osu. Oh, I can't see. Hmm. All right. I knew it would happen this way. So I need to figure that out. Yeah, I'd probably stream it because it's, you know, it, it's a double, uh, I, you know, I can practice and also do content with it. Of course, because that's all I do. That's everything I live for is for the sake of content, for your entertainment, of course. But no, uh... Like, what really got me is, like, the guy who made the video is obviously quite good. What? Like, he's quite- he, he knows how to draw. Like, he can do that. But he show like, he was on a, a tablet with, like, mine, where there's no screen on it. And he's like, yeah, so, like, I can- I can barely draw a straight line. I can barely, uh... I can barely draw a circle, and I'm just thinking, like, holy shit, I can't do that either. Like, why can't I do that? And and now... And when I when I thought about it... Yeah, the only time I really use my tablet is when I open my, uh, my software, right? 
So I'm not really used to, uh, I'm just not used to it. Because I, I use the mouse all the time, but the only time I pull my uh, tablet out. What the fuck? Oh, I'm down here. Okay. Interesting. I exploded and lost a coin. The only time I use my tablet is when I, uh, or use my, like, pen is when I pull my tablet out. It's gonna kill me. It's fine. Uh, so, using, uh, using my tablet as a mouse. So basically, I'm gonna start turning my right screen into my permanent, like, because normally what I do is what I do art. I have, uh, I have my, uh, right screen dedicated to the program and my left screen everything else but for anything else i always have my right screen dedicated to like just a stream or whatever i'm watching and my left screen is all my other stuff so i gotta switch that my position is correct i have my uh, tablet lined up with uh i have my tablet lined up with my monitor but yeah I guess I never really realized how unfamiliar I, I truly am with the technology I'm using. Just because so much of what he said resonated with my own issues. And I was really impressed by that. But not like, you know, you know what I mean when I say impressed. But whatever, that's fine. That's fine for a start. That's fine. That's fine. One of the benefits of these uh, warp pipes is they reset the level. That also resets the level. So chat, how, how difficult is it to set up Osu? Because if possible, I'd like to do it as early as tomorrow. Because I don't really have anything else necessarily lined up. Very easy. Okay, but remember, I have to set it up to work with my tablet. I don't know if I have to do anything specific for that. I don't know how to get song packs. I don't even know how to get the fucking game working. Interesting. There's gotta be a step-by-step -step program. Ow. I don't even know what I'm trying to set that up. Probably after the stream, but I'm doing something else after the stream. Related to art. It's all related to art. Everything I do is related to art. Not even done cutting the audio up yet. I'm almost done. There's like 20 minutes left. But yeah, I gotta do that too. I, my hand got tired yesterday from what I did. So I took a break. And my hand feels okay now. Could have been worse. All oh, right, Mario. Hmm. Well, a tablet is just—it just fills in for the mouse, right? Oh, I didn't mean to kill all of them. Okay. Button still doesn't work. Button works, but I, do, I can't jump. I wonder if I can backflip. Perhaps. Yeah, backflip works. It's a new one. The camera changed when I was doing my thing. Uh, Osu Laser, you download songs in game. There's mul what do you mean? There's multiple versions. What what Osu do I get? What Osu do I need to get? What must I get? What o what one do I get? All I want is the one that lets me use my drawing tablet to play the game. That's all. And the I don't need to click buttons. I just need to slide my mouse cursor. Okay? Because that's... The whole point is to get familiar 
to get more familiar with my tablet's positioning because hand-eye coordination is weird when the screen you're looking at doesn't actually match up. Like, there are tablets that exist that you can see the screen on the tablet, and it's like drawing on paper in that sense, because you can actually see what you're doing. But my tablet doesn't have a screen, so what I see is replicated on the monitor in front of me, so hand-eye coordination is very strange. Interesting. Hmm. Same game remade for the crowd to be cleaner and more portable. Why wouldn't I just get the stable one then? Why even bother recommending the other one? Game <laughs> over. You know what? It's good to know, because I might have downloaded it by accident, and then I wouldn't have known. So this is information that was required. Oh. Anyone else just feel very angry at the world sometimes? Because I feel angry all the time. The anger, it wells up inside me. I will erupt. Speaking of eruption, John, you know, you know Moko's spell card, Fujiyama Volcano? When I first saw that spell card, I didn't really put two and two together that Fujiyama just meant Mount Fuji. <laughs> you know why? You know why, though? Because the other part of the spell card is in English. So it's called Fujiyama Volcano, but it's Mount Fuji's Volcano. But they called it Fujiyama, and they also called it Volcano, which is like... You see how I would get confused by that? And then when I found out what Fuji, uh, Fuji was, aka Mount Fuji, and Yama, aka Mountain, was, it's like, oh. Here, bitch. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna kill your ass. Give me your five coins. Hey, that's fine. That's actually perfectly fine. <laughs> Bad time to lose the ability to jump. Oh, well. <laughs> Fujiyama Volcano. But, like, that's what she says as well. That's the thing. It's just literally what she says. She says, like, when she says f her, her spell card, she says Fujiyama Volcano. It's, it's just, it's just neat. I just think it's neat. Man, I could really do without the FPS drop code. Why'd you jump that way, Mario? Are you a dumbass? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just gonna do my best. Get this red kern. See, this red coin right here is the worst, I think, just because of the position it's in. It's too easy for everything to go wrong. Might as well, right? Get out of the hole. Okay. I don't remember. Oh, there's no red coin in that direction, so I can use, I can do the elevator jump. Excuse me. What? 
What just, what just happened? <laughs> okay. Oh, well. There's the end of that. Alright, well, into the pit. Here I am. I'm already here, so... If I get the red coins, it's, it's quite nice, actually. I want to get the red coins if I can. Ooh, close. Gotta push the box. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so chat. If anyone knows how to get, like, Osu set up, if anyone knows, like, a good song pack to start with as well, because obviously I want to play Tuhu, right? I want to play the Tuhu song, but I don't know if, like... I don't know which ones exist, what packs exist. I don't know anything about this, and it would be a lot more convenient if everything was already organized for me, instead of me having to download individual songs. Ooh, that was close. Ah, uh, goodbye. There's also, uh, chat, the latest game jam is also finished as well. So, I'd like to take a look at that. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow. Like I said, I want to do Osu tomorrow. But I still need another thing to do anyway, right? Quit, quit it. That's a new one. That's a very new one. Mm -mm. Oh, I did make vomit sounds. That was one song, dude. That was one song. Can you really blame me? You gave me a song with a guy singer. Hello? Do I? What, what, what do you think I am? I'm a weeb, dude. Come on now. Anime. I don't know the song. It was second, yeah, I know that. And it was probably the worst song I've ever heard. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine if you like the song. I just really didn't. I don't like Boots Ultimate either. I don't I don't like Boots Ultimate. Jump scare. Hello, Mario. Sorry, the amount of stars that are actually difficult to get is quite small. But they're still there, so I'm gonna get them eventually. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, slower down. Slower down. There you go. Hmm. You can play anything on Osu. It's a learning... It's a, it's, it's a learning device. It's how you learn and have fun. I have a lot of things I need to do related to art at this point in time. Like, a lot, a lot. But I've, I've kind of gotten sick of looking for tutorials because most of the tutorials on the internet are unfortunate. And what I mean by unfortunate is, well, they tend to promise the impossible. And it's frustrating sifting through all of that nonsense. You know how many times you find a, an art tutorial video that's like, it's like 10 minutes long. And it's like, become a master at this in this amount of time. And then the thumbnail is like, oh man, this guy... This guy could barely draw a straight line in day one, but now he can draw a full grade and a, a, a tandem mini. It's like, that's not possible. And you know what happens whenever you watch those videos? Is they they always, without fucking fail, start going on about how it takes time, practice, dedication, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't already fucking know that. Your video said you could be a master in ten minutes. 
and your advice is just do it a lot, forehead. That, that what? I can't do it a lot in 10 minutes. Now, here's the thing, chat. I'm not expecting no fucking, you know, no, there's no philosopher stone to this kind of thing. I know that. This is unfortunate. But like, if you can't tell which, what, what, which one of these videos actually like delivers any useful information and which one doesn't. But I'm so sick of the, 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 the constant that is that. It's so consistent, too. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's great. So why'd your thumbnail say I could do it in 10 minutes? Huh? Don't you think maybe that's a little misleading? Of course it is. Why do you think they always interrupt the middle of their fucking video telling you to like, comment, and subscribe? It's less about getting you where you need to be and more about getting them where they want to be. So, all the most popular art tutorial videos are ones that promise shit like that. Because they prey on... They prey on new people who are looking for an easy answer. Sucks. And the worst part... Oh, fuck! One of the worst parts... Is... How many of those videos... Tell you to watch other art videos. That's, uh, it's, it's like an Ouroboros of bullshit. It's like, oh yeah, check out other, uh, reference, uh, like, other reference videos that people do. And it's like, okay, I do, but you know what they tell me? To go check out other reference videos. <laughs> they all, they just keep sending me down the pipeline. I think I can see the sand. Who is this magical art tutorial video they're all recommending? Because I can't find it. All I can find are videos telling me to check out uh, art tutorial videos. I mean those, be those. Can never, can't trust anyone now. So yeah, that's just some frustration. I'm not saying that there, like no video ever is like not been helpful. But it just feels like so many, so many of those videos exist, and it really does feel like oh, I just lost all my coins. That's fine. I kind of exploded, so. You know what? Maybe maybe I start in the big painting so I can get those boomers right away. Maybe, maybe I try this. Normally I would never want to do this, but I don't really know. <sighs> what the fuck? Okay. Well, the videos aren't bad, necessarily, but they don't really help the way that you think they would help. So many of the comments feel like bots, too. Like, damn, I was struggling artist, and after watching this video, I get it now. Thanks for the video. And it's like, are you human? <laughs> I can't tell if you're human or not. Because I watched the video, and I, I don't make, I can't make fucking sense of anything you just said. At least somebody's getting something out of it, right? Gotta think of it like that. Why is that Goomba leaving? Come back, Goomba. Twenty coins, right at the start. Very good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, that's fine. All right, the roulette is over. Uh, super speed. I just want to kill the kill the key too. Oh, I actually killed him. Holy shit. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Come here. Beginner hell, chat. That's what it is. It, it, it really does stink. Just not understanding things. 
and I want to understand things. I should've... I don't think I can get up that hill. I can almost get up that hill. I'd like to kill that Goomba. Slide all the way down. Okay. But I said yesterday, Chad, I bought a... I bought a course by a very well-reputable uh, artist from Proko. So... I'm gonna see how that turns out, I guess. And I spent money on it, so I will be doing... I'm doing my best to utilize the information I get out of it, one way or another. I like the Dutch angle, because I can't straighten my camera out. That's bad. Okay. That's fine. Am I making money from this? I can't tell. Not really. Okay. That is unfortunate, but I think I found... I think I found a new route I'd like to try. <clears throat> okay. How interesting. <coughs> oh. It doesn't have to be only Toho. I'll take easy stuff to warm me up into it as well. You know, I'm a weeb. I'm sure I can figure it out. Look, don't give me anything that will get, like, Omega cleaned, I guess. But Toho is obviously the one I want to do, but I need to learn how to use the, the interface first and foremost. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start with this. Impressively enough, like, I was almost okay from that situation until I side-hopped and took damage and fell off the side and, you know. I am impressed that still works. Alright. This is a speedrunning trick where you jump over the hill like I did earlier, but I didn't do it this time because I'm a failure. I have failed. That's also a speedrunning trick. Where they get both the Fly Guy and the Lakitu and hope their coin RNG is an absolute dog water. Which I have again failed because my coin RNG was dog water. What am I supposed to do with that spinny dude? So I do this. Okay. I didn't mean it! That's fine. Pro players hate this guy for this one crazy trick. Can't long jump. Times I don't understand the mechanics of this game, but that's okay because it was never my game to understand. Why can you breathe fire anyway? Dude. You know what? It doesn't matter what you can do. I messed up. I knew already I messed up. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay. 
So now I need to go to... I can long jump. So I need to confirm before I attempt it. Okay. There is a breeze there, but sometimes I feel like it deloads, so you need to be careful. Okay. It's alright. Vocaloid and anime stuff. Those are fine. They probably get claimed, but like I, I'm not really uploading that VOD with uh, the intent of monetizing anyway. It's it's more so just if anything that gets claimed in the sense that it li like literally makes the VOD unviewable, then that's annoying. But if it just mutes the audio, then it's like I whatever. That's really hard to stop with rhythm games. It's one of the hardest things about rhythm games for uh, for content. Wise is the amount of stuff you have to watch out for regarding that. Oh, that's some bullshit. Okay, well, I don't think that matters that much, but it is going to prove to be a little annoying. You can still stream rhythm games, but yeah, they do. They're unfavorable due to the, due to these reasons. Yeah, come here, bitch. Why the not pick him up? Don't jump me down the mountain. Thanks. Okay. okay. All right. I'm chill. I'm good. I'm good. I am relaxed. Could you please? Gotcha, bitch. God, that's over. Okay. So, uh, I think I can get the, I can get the secrets one, which is just going over the openings. Let me see. The rest of the tiny, huge island stars will be perfectly fine. They'll be fine. Okay. I have been told to play Osu like a number of times, legitimately. And I never really did. I don't know why. I wouldn't even say, like, there's nothing really about Osu that strikes me as a game I wouldn't really play, but for some reason I never bothered. Okay, well, this is. Okay, we're fine. Now, there's a cool speedrun trick you can do to get this, and I do not have the confidence in my abilities to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I really hope I'm lined up properly. That was not exactly what I had in mind when I said speedrun trick, but, well, we'll work. Yeah, I think that's what it was for- you know what it was? I had a laptop with a touchpad, so I didn't have a mouse, so I never bothered with it. But now I actually want to use it because I want to use my mouse, but not my mouse specifically. I want to use my, uh, I want to use my pen to get used to it as a mouse so it feels more natural in my hand. 
because once it becomes more natural in my hand, I don't have to think about trying to solve the mystery that is that while also trying to solve the mystery that is art. Let's go. It's a fun way to learn. That's how I'm going to view it. Which button is jump? This button is jump. Okay. That's fine. That's that's still fine. I can't see. I can't see. Wait. Wait, what am I doing? Am I doing top of the island? I hate I hate the camera change one. Very annoying on this map. There's a I could probably do some well actually. The top of a huge island, yeah. So there's Wiggler, Top of the Island, and Koopa the Quick. Okay, Koopa the Quick might actually be a bit annoying, but it depends on how cooperative he is. I posted uh, something I did earlier in the week uh, on Twitter before I went live. That one took a lot of effort. And I like how it turned out, but there's so much more I want to do. There's just so much more I want to do. Not just that. So many elements in there that I want to improve on. So, nothing like going back to the very basic of the basics. Learn it all again. But maybe this time, with my semblance of knowledge I've acquired, it'll all make more sense. That's my goal. Okay, I know you can get up there like that. Don't remember how, though. Uh, hmm. Maybe I can get over this wall with a triple jump. No. Oh, I almost can. What if I get a first Uh, hey, that works out perfectly, actually. Don't touch him. So the tippy-toppy of the island is an easy one, because it's just a box over here. There. <clears throat> there we go. Chat, do you know how to bend shapes? This is very important, because this is apparently, this is the core of all art. I can't do it. Legitimately. When I look at a square, I, I see a square. I can't even really make a cube consistently. Ooh, with a quick time. And it's like, alright, so take this, look at this thing and now view it like a bunch of shapes, irregular shapes. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? I can't do that! Well, now it's time to learn. Oh, that's a bitch. Yeah, just like... Gaining knowledge of shapes is so important. And how to like manipulate them and bend them and how to view them in a 3D space. It's... It's too much for my brain right now. So, I need to learn how to do it. But that was not something I ever really learned. So, there's a lot of basics and fundamentals that I just don't know because I I am illiterate. I am down now. I am down here now. Okay, well, I'm down here now. It would be so beautiful if you could get up that mountain, Mario. If you could just get up that mountain, Mario. Hmm. 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 Be so beautiful. Okay. Well, the world has changed. The world has changed. Not for the better. Motherfucker. Uh, 
Doesn't matter. I told you, these stars aren't hard to get. They're not hard to get. I swear they're not hard to get. It's just the game likes to... The game likes to be a fucker sometimes. Ee hee hee hee. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> what I... What I tell ya? Oh god, why am I in the mountain? It laughed at me as soon as I called it a fucker. Mm. Whatever works. I'm gonna get that star. I was nowhere near that star. <laughs> oh, I'm not dead. Even if I grabbed that star, I would have just teleported. Ah, oh, we're back! Hey, we're back! I have one health. Did it. Well, I gotta go all the way around the mountain this side. Look at that cool fish. Ah. Chat, I have an important question. Is Osu fun, or am I getting baited? <laughs> am I just getting baited into your 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 addiction, your weeb addiction? Oh. I'll accept it as a practice tool, though. How could you even get competitive? Getting competitive in that just sounds like sounds like a headache. Like you need to hit a perfect on every note, and I just no thanks, no thanks. I'm playing it for the uh, practice. What oh, anything doubles up his content too. Oh man. I'm not walking around this fucking mountain. Fine, I'm walking around this fucking mountain. I hate walking around that mountain, though. Alright. We've been drained. Okay. Competitive history of Osu. There was a tournament recently, wasn't there? I kept seeing it recommended. I didn't watch it because I don't really know how Osu works. Actually, one of the earliest Osu things I ever watched was Trihex's video on the Lucky Star Duga, which is like eight minutes long. And I was like, damn. 
to lie, Duga. He flooded my home. Anyway. This is the most ugly fucking Wiggler they've ever created. Holy shit. This is like Beta Wiggler. Not even Beta Wiggler, though, because they had Wiggler in Mario World. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's such a shame, because I had M1 lives, and now I game over. Game over. Okie dokie. Good start. Okay. Wiggler is just so ugly. It's it's insane how ugly he is. He's just a bunch of orange balls. I died twice. Like, Boo looks fine. The Goomba- I mean, the Goombas are crusty. Let's be fair, the Goombas are crusty. But Wiggler looks like... I don't know, man. He just looks like an accident. Like, that character didn't wasn't meant to be in the game, but they needed a boss. What about Pokies? Okay, they're fine because they're just 2D images. They're not 3D models. They're, they look kind of weird, though, as a result of that, but they're not actual 3D models, so it's okay. You remember the fucking Pokies in Mario Party 7? Or is it Mario Party 5? I can't remember. The one where they have the dopey-ass faces. Yeah. Oh, hello, Toad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I hate doors, 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 I hate doors. Lightning speed crawling. Okay. Just give me a little luck. Could you give up? Give me a little luck and these stars are, like, easy. It's just every time I get a hard star, the game decides I'm no longer allowed to get stars anymore. It happens all the fucking time. That whole segment down there looks like a monkey ball level. And now the game is lagging. Oh, I hate simulated ping. Dude! Gen 6 models aren't bad, they're just boring. They're boring, they don't do anything. It's especially bad for the flying types. I fucking hate this level, dude. Some of them are bad. Well, I wouldn't even say the model's bad, it's just what they do is not exciting. Like Electros. Electros was a lot cooler in Gen 5. And then they made him like... What is even happening? Then they made him like swim in the air and he looked really not intimidating at all. like it's like sadness don't hit me 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 okay the big issue is I try to walk on this fucking board and I I touch didn't do anything that time! I was crawling! <laughs> stop! Stop, Mario, stop! I 
I just want to get to the top of the mountain and ground pound it and then go in there and beat Wiggles up. Not a lot to ask for, I don't think. I'm gonna fall in the gap this makes. Okay. I'm actually crawling. Like, this- this board sucks. I'm not getting up. I'm not. Created a pack, 87 taller songs. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, how easy are they? Oh my cock! How, how, how easy are they? Are they gonna be like, you know, like. Because I've never played Osu before, just so you know. I've never played Osu. Oh, bollocks. I played them myself when I was playing. Yeah, but have you played Osu before? I think you have. Remember, I'm basically playing on... Uh, I'm, I'm playing on, a, on a, a special mouse. I can't even use a regular mouse correctly. And now I have to learn the special. Okay, it's still drained at least. In we go. Alright, Wiggles, I'm coming this time. And nothing's gonna stop me. Not you, not that Chuck ya, and not the game. Not the game. Let's play what you got here. Now, this is some boss music. Why does he have to talk every time I hit him? There's another one. <clears throat> Make Wiggler squirm. What a terrible, terrible name for a star. There's no indicator how you're supposed to even reach that motherfucker, is there? It's a good thing I know all this. I'm pretty sure I had to look some of these stars up on DS when I, I played it originally. Because the hints suck. For the level. They really do. Ouch. Alright, next is quick. quick. Like, my house! You jump on his head. Alright, I'm mad now. And you jump on his head again. And he's like, alright, I'm pissed now. And you jump on his head again. And he's like, alright, you win. Man got thin. I was gonna win. I was gonna win, and I hit the pipe. That is such a shame. He was right behind me, I know, but I, I was trying to dive into the, the flagpole. I need you. Alright, you got me. I panicked. I wasn't paying attention. I just hit the thing because I saw text. I panicked. Oh. I'm not 
gonna blow me up. Not gonna blow me up. Not gonna blow me up. I'm usually pretty good at not getting caught by that, but given the circumstances, it didn't really matter that much. I wasn't sure if Koopa the Kip Quick was even going to respawn in his right, uh, his original spot. Oh well. Not that big a deal. Lost all my lives. Now I'm back at the door. It's the last star at this godforsaken level, at least. And I never have to come back in here ever again. Never, ever, ever, for never, ever. Laggy bitch. Alright. Yeah, I love being a bald head. Oh, hold on. Generally, 200 star minimum, some higher and lower. Well, they have ranging difficulties, right? I assume most people make different, like, uh, degrees of difficulty for their things. But I'd also assume some people just make one song map chart and then... Like, call it a day there, because making multiple difficulties is a pain in the ass. Okay. And that is what we like to call sadness. 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 I'm sad now. Okay. I'm not sad anymore. I have been in THI for the last 50 years! And no, it doesn't get much better than this! So angry, man. I was gonna win again, and it gave me the code to ground pound. What I jump, and I took it away as soon as I lost. Game. Just thinks it's so funny. I've beaten Koopa the Quick essentially twice now, but you know. He's cheating. He put a bomb on my, my air gear. He blew me up at the finish line. What a motherfucker. Oh my god, why am I half dead? No, I didn't! Yeah, long time no see. This is the one star we couldn't get in that co-op playthrough I did with Christian. MARIO! I couldn't have won anyway. Because if, even if I made it over there, my, my hitbox would have touched the pipe. And then I would have just lost. But I also, whatever code I got there, made Mario just immediately start running in the other direction. Okay. This, okay, the, the, this code needs to wear off because I literally can't race in these conditions. <laughs> I can't race in these conditions. Please! <laughs> K 
get up there. Okay. Stop. Stop. Oh, don't do that. can't even kill you for coins. Hello again. How fast are you? Uh, every time I get moon jump, I lose it. I still can't long jump. Otherwise, I would have. I can't slide either because my B button creates fireballs. It's fucking rodeo music over with! Okay. Alright, send me that zippy and then tell me how to put it into the game. Also, which version of the game do I need to get? If I just Google Osu, will I just immediately get to where I need to be? Discord, but it has to be below 25 megabytes, I think. You might have to upload it to like Media Share or something first. Discord's file size is like fucking pathetic for sharing things. give discord money hello oh he's cheating oh he's cheating oh he's cheating he's gonna head start oh well that's gonna kill me before him does ignore the wind. That's why he catches you when you get to the wind the, the wind thing. So I have to do a movement option there, but every time I get to that bridge, my movement options are restricted! So I can't. Skype again. <laughs> Skype was the shit, though. <laughs> I'm sure Skype is still around. That was how you did it. game is so laggy. I can't even jump consistently. I can't race in these conditions. Bro, I'm staying right here. Until my game lets me actually move the way I want to move. What? Why? What? Okay. Why did that just spout out of the ground? Come on. Who even still uses Skype? Not me. I think it comes pre-installed and stuff. <clears throat> or die. That's great. Okay. Chat, 
Chat, when I hold down, he runs... He runs down. But, like, he's not supposed to be running down. Come on! Fix your junk, Mario! Holy shit! I can't turn around! <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Maybe this will fix it. Thanks, Mario. Okay, and now I can't fucking move. Okay, now I'm moving too much. Alright, this is it. Team speak? I've heard of team speak. Why? Why did every bad code possible just happen? I can't win. I can't move. I'm ground pounding. I can't turn around. What's the one that the scammers like to use? Isn't that team speak? Oh, this is swell. Dude. Life comes at you fast. Pipes disabled, so I can't even reset the issue. Ba 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 ba. Boom. Actually, probably was a better idea to go in the water just so I could heal, but. Ew. These are winnable conditions, I think. Now, watch this. Okay. I'll race you, buddy. I'll race you. I'll just hope for super speed at the last moment. Uh, what, I, what I do for everything is I just put it on uh, I just put it on media media fire and then I post the link and then there you go that usually solves the issue I mean you can email it if you want I'm mad at me I don't check my email very much anymore mostly because my phone doesn't tell me when I get emails and when I check it's just sponsorships for things like HelloFresh I get a message and then I get another message the next day about the previous message, and then I get another message the next day about another message, and it's just I just keep I just keep getting messages like that, and I just don't care. And then any actual real email uh, email that I might actually get gets buried in an absolute fucking wave of sponsorship opportunity. It sucks because I don't stop. They never stop, man. They send the first one, they're like, hmm, you didn't respond to that one, uh, so we're reaching out again. Hmm, you didn't respond to that one, so we're reaching out again. Hmm, you didn't respond to that one, so we're reaching out again. I'm not about to do anything. All right, I'm about to stand right the fuck here. When way you beat me again? Yeah, I can't imagine how. T 
ทีทีเอมทอทอมาอโอ้ยมุสกามีเดอร์ดิ้งเนี่ยไปกันเอาโอเคโอเคเดี๋ยวจะส่งมาให้ whatever way whatever way is convenient for you I'll get it I'll get it it doesn't matter I'd rather prefer that coin, actually. I would like to go do the slide first because I feel like the slide, if it's if the if the hundred coins start spawning on the slide, I am mega fucked. Hi, buddy. Now, if you're wondering what happened there, uh, Mario is currently spinning. Okay. We're now going back down the mountain, and now. <laughs> Hold on, if I have two different packs, how do those like how do I put those together? Do I just open the contents of one pack and put it in the other, or are they actually sorted by files? So like if I have a folder, does it check for duplicates, or is it just how does that work? Just open all the files. Now what I'm saying is like, is the file openable in the game kind of deal? Cool, no coin. He's gone. Oh, yeah, he's he's really gone. My haven, monkey! You cannot cross me! I need to slow the fuck down before I do anything, though. Come on. Come on. Slow down, Mario. Slow down. Slow down. Please slow down. Please. Come on. And now you're walking backwards like a real jackass. All right. All right. We're good. What just happened? What's going on? Oh, that's the log. Oh no! What? Mamma mia! What was that horrible noise? All right, you know what? Let's go do the slide first before anything else. The Not what I meant. That's, that's really not what I meant when I said that. Because the slide, the way the slide works is it actually deloads as you go down it. So you can kind of get the hundred coin by accident in a bad spot. So I'd rather deal with that first. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up the mountain and get to the slide, get all the coins there, and then figure out what I'm doing from there. Now, I wish I knew how to do the speedrun trick where they like 
swim through the water and then get up to the middle part. But I'll just walk. Simulated leg. I can't jump. Because the game is lagging. Like, I, I legitimately can't jump. I can't even die! Good. It's me, Mario. Good. Hello. Good. That lag one is probably the worst. Or one of the worst. They're all pretty bad. Every single code alone is obnoxious, but you put like two of them together and the game just becomes unplayable. This game is a true testament to luck. And not skill. There's no skill involved. You think it's skillful? To not just not get fucked over by random codes. You're a fool. Anytime you see me like win, it's because the game didn't fuck me in the ass. That's literally it. Has nothing to do with my ability to play this goddamn game. I I, I don't even care that I missed those. I don't care because the main objective is still the slide. I just lost all three of those coins there. Okay. I wonder if it'd be faster to go down. I think there's coins up here. I have no idea. Just clean those. Okay. Here's the slide. <clears throat> so I get all the coins on this thing. I don't know how many coins there are on this thing, to be honest with you. But there is a blue. Another blue. Oh, why? You know what? I think that's fine, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to spawn in the slide portion. It gave me a Koopa shell, and it immediately gave me better control over my- God damn it! I bet you think this is real funny, don't you? If I'm right, I should spawn in the slide, which is perfect, because that means I'll be able to get all the coins in there right at the start, and then I can worry about the 100 coins. Problem is, once I leave, I don't get them. Take what you can get. Alright. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Dick has been eaten. I can't. I can't get up there. I'd like to. I can't. I don't know the tricks. The speedrun tricks. My mind! Stop! This whole mushroom debangle is not actually as scary as it looks. It's only scary because there's always an opportunity the game just tells me I'm dead. You know what? This is honestly probably smarter. To go up this thing. Good. I died. I died because I had to make that save from the Pong Ball. There you go. Just far enough down that I managed to slide and get my ass grassed. Alright, cool. A 
love low poly Mario. He's such a good guy. Such a nice fella. Doesn't let a couple pixels get him down. Sign here, please. You think there's actually words on this sign? And it's just like hyper, uh, hyper expanded, so you can't read it. Oh boy, lag. Oh yeah. You again, huh? Dude. This one right here is slowly becoming my least favorite coat. It just, it just pops up, and then sometimes it goes away instantly, and then other times it doesn't go away, and you just have to sit there and wait for it. I was game over in anyway. It didn't matter if that kill screen worked. There's no way I was gonna get the hundo in those conditions. The fact that I even got to the slide once is impressive. What's crazy is the shell actually would have been great. If I knew it was gonna happen because I was already preparing to turn on the slide But because the shell turns so much better I immediately you know when you try to drift with bikes and carts and Mario Kart you drift a little early Because uh, you know how it works, but then with like inward drift bikes and stuff you drift like really late because they drift super hard So I was I was doing a cart drift and then suddenly Mario turned to an, a, an inward drift bike and I wasn't able to like do anything about that Man, I remember when that code used to last for five fucking years Sure Can't reach me. Alright, well, I'm now up the mountain. I have seven red coins. I can't. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, I think I can triple jump it. I could have oh, got the coin, lived, jumped in the painting, and escaped the one-up. Everything made sense. It was gonna work. It was gonna work. Oh, it would have been so good. Why is the mountain coming off? Wait, the star moved, didn't it? Oh, the whole mushroom moved. Where's the star? There's one of them. <laughs> okay. All right, well. That might actually be possible to get. I bet you thought I was dead, but I know. I happen to know a couple tricks. Give me uppies! Give me uppies! Give me uppies, thank you. Alright. It's a weird property of water. Oh well. Okay. 
Well, that code lasted for three seconds. Hmm. It's now my mission to get this star. I can almost get it. Almost get it. The joke. Okay. Got it. Here we go. Fucking got it. Oh. Well, that sucked. But I got it. Go. All right, back to Hondo. Yeah, you win one. Chat, you know what that reminds me of? Do you remember, like, I think it was now two years at this point. Two years ago when the Spongebob show made a reference to Squidward's suicide. Do you remember that? Okay. And then they like immediately censored it. Wasn't that crazy? Like that's something that happened in Spongebob. And it Cringe. No, 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 no. It wasn't cringe. It was cool. Different C word, brother. They made a cool little reference to it. Well, I guess I'm just getting that now, huh? I'm <laughs> sure. The censoring was cringe. Oh, it was. Did you actually see what they censored it with? It was horrifying. Oh, so this can happen in Rainbow Ride, huh? Chat, did anyone actually ever read the Squidward Suicide Creepypasta? Because I never have. I've only ever I've known of it because of the image. But why? Why? Okay. 
I didn't get the save after the red coin in Tall Tall Mountain, but it's not that big a deal. Like I said, this star is going to be very obnoxious, so the earlier I could get it out, the better. There's tons of creepy bosses for all kinds of games. Uh, I never read the, uh, I never read the Scribble Suicide one, but it came with an image that became very popular over the internet. And yeah, they referenced it in Spongebob, and then it got censored very quickly. But I was thinking about that before, like, imagine being the kid who sees that on television, and then you try to tell people, and they watch the episode, and it's not there. So you just, you're just fucking insane. Now, because we're in the age of the internet, you can tell how these things go, but when I was a boy, uh, you know, internet, internet didn't really have, uh, didn't really have information like that. So it was all in my head. Did it really happen? Funny. That's really unfortunate timing for this. For the love of God, give me back my controls. Pause game into start cursor on extra course into a button press. Be good. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the magic of early games and Easter eggs has disappeared, huh? There's so, like a big thing that uh a big a big thing that I think really ruins ruins it is data mining. Like, data mining is fascinating, sure. But the fact that people just rip open games and just like, oh, you see this? That means that this is coming. And it's like, oh, okay. You know Roy and Ryu in uh, Smash 4 were known about the day before their release because the data miners found their, uh, all their shit was added to the game in a patch beforehand. I think they were even fully operational. The Lost and Isaac. I know that uh, the the creators of Isaac said uh, expressed their distaste and how people found out about that character because it was supposed to be. They tried to be. They tried to make it like old days where it was a big overarching puzzle you were supposed to get like work together and solve, find the answers for. But what happened instead was people just data mined the character and were like, "Holy shit! Look at this." Yet. Yet. Okay. There was the ghost girl in GTA 5. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know about her. Hmm. So when, uh, the original way to get the lost was when you died to a sacrifice room with the missing poster uh, trinket. Uh, it would give you. It would give you like a piece to a puzzle or something like that. And when you put the puzzles combined, it tells you the order in which you're supposed to do something. And the order is you have Maggie die to a, a bomb enemy on the on the basement floor. And then you have, uh... I don't remember who comes after that, but then... Uh-oh. I can't move. The box is crushing me. I forget who comes after that, but then you have to have somebody die to mom, and then you have to finally have Judas die to Satan. And when Judas dies to Satan, you unlock the lost. So you can use a seed for the first three runs, but you don't get the unlock unless you're playing as a... Uh, unless you're on not... Because you can't get the unlock on a seed of rum. But you can set up the sequence on a seed of rum. But yeah, the character was discovered through data mining. And... I know that... Like, Ed was like, I forget what, I think the quote was like, he compared it to, uh, like, 
getting a hundred dollar steak and then just like devouring it whole without actually like appreciating it at all. I get why he'd be upset, but I gotta say, the convoluted nature of that whole character, it was just unnecessary. And in the Afterbirth uh, DLC, they just made it so dying in the sack room with the item uh, gave you the character, which is a hell of a lot better. But again, I understand kind of what he was trying to go for with it. He wanted to make a big community, like, oops. He wanted a character that was going to be like a big community effort to solve the mystery of. But, well, the mystery is solved by a couple guys digging through code. And that's what happens a lot, is data mining finds a lot of stuff. And any any mystique or mystery or anything like that is completely de devoid because people rip these games apart to find anything so they can be the first guy to be like, yo, look at this. Because they want, uh, I don't really know what they want to be honest with you. It's the same thing with like leakers. What exactly do they get out of leaking information? They don't get any notoriety because they if they do if they expose who they are then <laughs> Their ass is grass in the industry. That's a black mark hmm. I think that the oops finger slipped I do think that the way they went about it was too, uh, way too asinine to expect people to want to do it. But I do agree, it does kind of suck that everything you set up for it just goes down the drain. Well, I guess I'm here now, huh? I don't really know what to do right now, because the level has shit itself. Hmm. Well, a backup one up is fine. Okay. Okay. I see a. I see a star. I can't really tell what's happening though, because the level looks like this. Oh, that's fine. I'll take that. Pokemon does it has it happen. It's annoying though, cause like when they try to hide things, then people find it, and then you have to worry about going on Twitter and seeing leaks because you know. And then there's every now and again these uh, very anticipated games end up being released two weeks early. Because people want to maximize their sales, I guess. So they break, uh, they break street date, and then it turns into one big fiasco with that, and that's always fun. Completely destroy your, uh, your reputation for that, and you get stuff like that all the time. Side of the mountain's gone, bro. Side of the mountain is gone. Hey, kid. How's about a new house? Hmm. Yeah, they did. Rockstar released the GTA 6 trailer because uh, it got leaked. They were like, alright, fuck that. Which, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, that's very unfortunate. The combination that I had to work with there could have been really good if I didn't get, you know, spawn hit by it. You missed that one. Try another. Mountain's gone. Mountain gone. I'm now down to 92 stars. By the way. Game over. Because I didn't save the game after the red coin star. Because it warped me to somewhere else. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, Pokemon gets hit by this a lot. But Pokemon actually, uh, when Gen 7 was coming out, they pretty much announced like everything in the game through Koro Koro. 
And it was honestly upsetting because they showed off all these they showed off all these Alolan forms. And Okay. And I was like, oh god, I, I, I hope, uh, I can't wait to see what else they got cooking in there. And then there's one, there's exactly one Alolan form that's not, like, wasn't mentioned before the game came out. And that's Alolan Golem. Like, Geodude, Graveler, and Golem. That was it. Those are the only other Alolan forms that weren't talked about in Koro Koro and stuff like that. So there was nothing in that game to really leak. It ended up all getting like showcased by Nintendo and Game Freak itself. Pokemon Company. Whoever you want to fucking blame for it. Good. Bro, big, big footy. That's a good thing. Uh-oh. I don't want to do this until I can see myself. Because I, I can't get the coins. I don't even know how the coins are going to look now because of that magnet code. Come on. Where am I? Please! Because the slide loads in chunks, I think it's okay. Uh. Okay, yeah, it loads in chunks, so I don't have to worry about missing a lot. something unfortunate. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, thank god! Holy sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> what? What? No, I need that! I mean, I don't, but it would have been nice to have. No! Oh, 
that again! I knew it. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. I've tried to wait for that code to wear off. I can't do anything about that. That code is really nice, but not in this situation. So I have to try again. Here we go. It's a shame. Guess I should have waited longer. I figured I'd be okay. Alright, we'll do it again. It wouldn't have been a problem, I don't think, if I had an even number of coins. But Oh, now we're off. Because I had an odd number of coins. I'm the Joker, baby. Doubling it again is great. Okay. That's fine. Oh man, it wasn't even gonna kill me! Mamma mia. Maybe I should have just accepted that. I. Just gonna try again. Dude, dude, I and here I did. I did the invisible badge challenge. I did that section first try, actually, in Mario Wonder. When I got to the end and it was like, all right, now do this last section while invisible. I was like, are you serious? And then I did it. So I didn't have enough time to get mad at it. You know what segment I was annoyed with? The fucking spring one. Oh my God, that one was bad. I hated every moment of that. Trying to jump over those fucking fire bars in the spring was just- it was not happening. Good. Well, I 
this is what we're doing now, huh? Possible. I thought that camera angle change was the level fucking itself, so I kind of gave up there. But as soon as I fell in the hole, I realized the truth. And the truth did not set me free. There are 27 stars left in this game. There are four levels left. And I believe three castle secret stars. think. Uh, yeah, there's a toad, there's the Bowser Reds, and there's the Wing Cap one. I guess I can check. I'll check later. Well, no, it doesn't actually matter. Why you do? Why you do? Why you do? Okay, all right. All right, we're good. Chat. How did I manage to play this for like seven hours a day before? How did I do that? Because that was a version that was infinitely worse than this. How am I alive? Fuck. What? Huh? Well, this is news to me. I see. I did used to have music playing. There was that. I guess that was easier to cope with. And now I'm at the mercy of the world! I don't like that code. I don't like that code either. Good. There should be a code that gives me hover nozzle in this game. I know that he could do it. Okay, well, it's nice to know that even if I didn't fail that jump, I was dead anyway. But that jump would not 
be very complex. With the game cooperating, that's all. Tired of those fake stars, dude. Look at this. It's this easy. You just jump. Good one, Mario. I'll grab some coins on the way. Hmm. It's okay. It's just. Was that angle really that bad? Was it was it really that bad? How did I how did I even do that that badly? That was like impressively bad. Playable, so is that. Alright, here we go. Yeah! Nowhere near the star. Can you just let me die already? Thank you. How many more tries does he have before he gives up? Well, that's a very good question, and the answer will not surprise you. Not many. But you only quit for a day. The fact that I'm even still here playing this piece of shit says a lot, doesn't it? Okay, back to TTM! I, I go TTM! Chat, let me tell you a story. Chat. Do you know what fanboy and chum chum is? Okay, well, I could have had that if my B button was correct. Yes. Okay, that's all I needed to know. So, I have a memory of staying home from school once. And playing my Super Mario 64 DS on the couch. And that show's pilot episode came on. And I watched it. And then uh, later, when the episode aired again, it was like new new show. Then this is like supposed to be like the first time they're showing it, but it wasn't because I watched it on TV before. Nobody believed me. Nobody believed me. I had seen the episode while I was on TTM on Super Mario 64 DS. I feel like that should have worked. I really do. Let's go. Her hair off. Why do I always get this piece of shit garbage code? Stop fucking doing this. Let me play your shitty game! Okay. I don't know why I have zero coins, but I'll just get the red coin. Where's the last one? Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Okay, that's a funny code. So the entire time it's active, it's always seven, no matter what. Okay. There's a 
Fanboy and Chum Chum Creepypasta. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to believe you. Just kill me. Guess not. Is there really, or are you crazy? Am I reading it? Well, I mean, we can read it when I play the other game. up the mountain, just because I don't think I'll be able to get them again later. Okay. Okay. Thirty coins. Don't, please don't, fucking don't, 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 stop, stop, stop! Okay. It's fine. Not that bad. It's alright. count to ten. It better give me my camera back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Give me my camera back. I don't think it's going to give it back to me. I gave it back. Why can you even slide down that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well. Mamma mia. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, well, now I'm here. Don't have my hat. But at least I'm starting the slide. I forgot about that part. I don't have my hat again. Hey, at least it's putting me in here. Put me back in here, that's a nice thing. Didn't do that before. Hmm. I won't forget this time. I didn't forget! I didn't forget! I didn't forget! What? Okay, so I'm essentially starting the level with 56 coins. A couple parts scare me. Do this again. Come on. It wasn't funny the first time. It's not funny now. Here we go. You're not going to put me back in the slide, are you? No, you're not. Why would you do that? I did that angle again, and it was really bad. I don't know why it was really bad. Ugh, it keeps, like, giving it to me and then taking it away. This game first came out, like, uh, the first Chaos Edition, uh, like, the very first Chaos Edition, there was a disclaimer that was like, yeah, I don't even know if this is possible to get every star in, so probably shouldn't try. And, of course, a lot of people were like, damn, maybe I should try. And, well, here we are. Uh, 
I'd like to get those coins in there, but I can't until the jumping fixes itself. So there's about 50... 50 ish coins in the slide. Good. Good. That's good. It's always good. Mamma mia! It's never not been good. It's always been good. Meow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. How I die? I don't even know what happened. This game is made out of fucking glue and duct tape. With a little bit of staples. You're gonna kill me, get it over with. Pretty sure I just, as soon as I got hit there, I ended up getting metal cap, so I wouldn't die. I don't have a hat right now because of the little slide fiasco. Jumping is good. Hmm. Banana suit. The size of my ass. Good lord. What? I didn't even move, dude. Why did you just? Why did you fall? Why did you spin and fall? Mamma mia! Why are you doing this? This is one star. Hmm. You shut up! I can't hear the game. You're right. Sorry.
coin doubling. Oh no! That's an odd number again. Problem. Okay, coin doubling's done, but I need to start actually sliding. <laughs> Don't touch any of those. No, no, why would you do that to me? Why would you do that? There's no reason for it. There's no reason. I was, everything was fine. I, I was gonna get to the bottom and it was gonna be done. Yeah. And we were gonna be finished. Let me up, could you? Try again. I'm a tire. Mm. Once, uh, there you go. Right now, the benefit of anything here is I either. Did I just overshoot that blue point? 
If I don't get a star, but I don't save, I keep my hat. I get a star, I get a star, I save, I don't keep my hat. So, unless I gain a star here, I don't have to worry about this hat shit. How did that happen? That's never happened before. Mamma mia. Hope that code's still active. That's fine. Oh no. I didn't get a proper star, so now I'm gonna start here every time. some locations I can get my hat back. I'm pretty sure Tall Tall Mountain is one of them. Like, I'm pretty sure the monkey has it. Snowman's Land has one. To get the monkey. Okay. Irregular movements. Irregular movements. Irregular movements. I'm trapped in the slide. Mamma mia. I need to get out of the slide. I don't even know if, say, like, reloading the game will get me out of the slide here. I actually have no idea. Oh. Good. Oi, oi, oi. I just like to get through it, grab the, the mountainside star, and then I won't have to be in here anymore. Stop fucking doing that, man! Why do you keep doing that? Why do they explode? Mamma mia. Yeah. I wish to leave. Let me leave.
guess I got out. All right, chat. Well, I got two hundos and a level done. And now I just have to get the rest of TTM. Which shouldn't be too bad. It's reds, monkey cage, waterfall, and that mushroom. That's it. I do need to get my hat back, though. I really hope that when I open the game next, I'll be able to go not be in the slide. But we'll see. <laughs> 